Okay. Hello YouTube, Shiny Stammy Studios here and welcome to episode 53 of my Pokemon Yellow Adventure. Really 53? Come on. 13, 26, 38, yeah. Zero to 13, 13, 26, 26, 28. Hello YouTube, Shiny Stammy Studios here and welcome to episode 53 of my Pokemon Yellow Adventure. In the last episode we got here to... Route 13, so we crossed the Silence Bridge. And in this episode, we're going to cross this route and take on some trainers here. Sure, I'll play with you. Okay, we'll play some Pokemon. Oh, more correctly, my Pokemon will play my Pokemon owning your Pokemon because I've got some pretty major powerhouses on my team. Which is King. So I know that when it comes to the Fero is going to be extremely important against Koga. And it's also very important against Drill Peck because that's going to be a devastating attack. Probably also be really good against Sabrina too now I come to think about it. Maybe not so much against Blaine. Like Blaine's the only one I'm like legitimately nervous about because it's got some devastating fire type moves and I don't have a Pokemon that could... Oh, you little brute, that can resist the fire type move? Do you want a Pokemon with me? Uh, sure. Aren't you a little old for me, though? <laughs> well, actually, to be brutally honest, the beauty's probably closer to me in age than it is than they are to Red. So, I mean, Red's 11, I'm 24. Beauty's are probably like 16 to 18 at least. Oh, brilliant. Oh, it didn't help, so you're down. Good. Oh, this old one shot two kick. Maybe even one kick. <laughs> two kick. Boom. Down goes me out. It's over already? Yeah, unfortunately for you. I'm slowly getting stronger and stronger. Wow, your badges are too cool! I know, they are very cool, aren't they? Okay, doing a swap because I know what I've got to avoid. Yep, it was going to use a move that will slow down your Pokemon. It will slow down my Nido King, and then it would hypnotize me in the middle of Thrash, and then I would have been KO'd. <laughs> oh, down you go. And you're using a po another Polywag, so I'm going to keep Venusaur in. Boom. I love Razor Leaf. So many crits. <laughs> not enough. Definitely not enough. Um, he's still level 32, so on to the next trainer. My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance. Oh, my badass Pokemon will be willing to meet your acquaintance too. Down on one hit, thanks to Thrash. Meowth. Ah, keep it in. Thrash will keep going. Crit. Unnecessary. Nido King is now level 33. So Nido King has caught up to Firo. Okay. Since they're all base form, I'm going to go Pikachu next. All right. Did you know? Cool. Oh, I'm running a little low on Thunderbolts, I see, Pikachu. Interesting. No chance. 
Alright. That's you beaten. Wow, you totally won. Yeah, I, like totally owned your ass. So Pikachu, let's get you up the head. Get you up to 33 ASAP. I always go with bird Pokemon, which is why you'll always be shocked by the power of my Pikachu. Especially since there's no Gligar in this game, so there's no Pokemon that are immune to electricity or a flying type. Down goes that. That was easy. So... Oh, Pidgeotto. Of course, we're starting to see the intermediate forms, finally. About ten levels after Pidgey should evolve into Pidgeotto, we finally face Pidgeotto. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Spiro? Channel one blown, far too easy. And now, Vero! Don't lose the Spiro. Kaboom! And Pikachu is now level 33. Agility. Nah. I'm fine with the moveset I have at the moment. Actually, I'm permanently fine because I've got my Flasher now. Okay, now you're level 33. Next up is Flareon. Oh, almost everybody's now caught up, so... Oh, PP! I'm using that, I'm using that on, um... I'm using that on Pikachu's Thunderbolt because I need a couple more Thunderbolts. Pikachu, Thunderbolt to 18. So now I've got 18 shots of Thunderbolt. Now where's my Max Ether? Alright. I'll get one more trainer to fight here. And then that'll be it this episode and it'll be you the wind's blowing my way no it isn't it's blowing much more my way or at least it will be soon enough five pokemon on your team spiro okay spiro down and one blow pidgey Right, you take you down. I have ever. Oh, not quite. Okay. Almost knock you out. Quick attack. There you have a Pidgey. I think I used two quick attacks. Should be enough. Yeah, clean two hit. Oh, sand attack didn't work. Good. Here. Spiro, so we'll just bite it and be done with it. Boom. And finally, Spiro. <laughs> All right. The wind turned, of course it did. So, I think that will be it for this episode. I hope you found it interesting. Next episode, we'll finish on this route, work our way out, and continue towards Fuchsia City. I will see you guys next time. Shiny Summy Studios, out.